Do you want your maps to look like this? Well, you can't. This is Jaxi, and he's got dev tools. But on the plus side, we can make a few changes to our strategy to get more great ones on our map. The first step is need zones. We need to try and locate all of our drink zones on the map. So what we're gonna do is walk around during 50% time, which means that say, Moose drink at 12 to 16, so we're gonna hop in at about 14, 14, 30, and that should give those moose time to be at those need zones. What you can do to make this even more efficient is go back to the main menu and load back in. What that's gonna do is force those animals to be at those spawns at that time, which means that you should be spending less time looking for animals going to and from zones and more time looking at zones that have animals on them. Creators like Lady Legend have done a phenomenal job at making maps with these need zones. If you're interested in any of her maps, I'll link her Discord down in the description down below. Otherwise, check out her live streams on YouTube and Twitch. She offers some phenomenal information there. But let's move on to step two. Once you have all of your drink zones figured out, then you can start looking at your shootable zones and your zones you're going to push off to the side. So these are two separate zone areas that we're going to try and focus on here. One zone class, we're going to try to get all of our shooters, all of our dimes, all of our mythicals, all of our higher end animals, depending on what they are. Now, ideally what starts happening here is we start seeing our level ones, level twos, and if you're hunting predators, level threes in large groups around the map. Once these groups start getting established, you can then have a better idea of what zones you need to focus on. At that point, you can then move your tents and your stands away from those low level zones and move back towards higher level zones. Now, it's currently believed that when you do harvest an animal, say a level five, that animal could come back as a level four, five, or six. Anywhere inside of that, the score seems to be completely RNG, but this seems to be the way that it works for your population table. I'm guessing the question you have now is what animal should be harvesting then? If, if that's the case, if I'm not supposed to be harvesting certain animals in certain zones, what should I be taking? Now, this really depends on your goal. There are a few different ways you can look at this. If you're trying to stack dimes and you're trying to do super rares, then you're going to approach it a little bit differently than we'd approach it for a great one grind. The new great one moose is the topic of discussion right now for most content creators, so let's have that talk. So when it comes to moose, we are looking at a few different statistical things here, and we're also going to take a little bit of a look at game theory to see how this all should pop possibly work, and I think I'm pretty far onto something here. There have been a few passing comments by people pretty close to EW, and it kind of got my thoughts moving here. So essentially, the way that it, I think that it works is looking at average score across the map. So let's talk about what that actually means. Looking at moose, we're going to assume there's 500 total on the map, and we're going to assume 60% are female. That means 300 females and 200 males. Now, out of those 200 males, we obviously want to try to get our numbers up for our average animal size, which means to me that we need to focus heavily on shooting the mid-size animals. When it comes to moose, we're looking at two, three, fours, and fives, and the fabled 10 size, that is the great one moose, which means that this is a different size entirely from the diamonds, which got my wheels kind of spinning here on this. So if we go ahead and thin out the medium size animals, the threes and fours, leave the twos, and maybe even take a bunch of the fives, What's going to happen is we're going to push that average size out to the fringes, which means that we should see more spawns of dimes and great ones out of all of this. Now, at a certain point, it's safe to assume that the game would probably start filling out things like threes and fours to kind of make that average size because the slots for twos and moose might get filled up if that's how this works. And I would assume the way they were doing it is a max min and an average for those animal sizes. That's kind of the way it works in a lot of games anyway which essentially means to you that we can maybe have a minimum of maybe five level two moose and a maximum of, call it 30, right? But inside of that, they have a target size, call it five. These statistics could play heavily into game theory and push you to kind of have more of a, a statistical idea of how you want to approach these things. But what all this means for you is what you need to do if you're harvesting moose is you're going to shoot the threes, fours, and if you're trying to stack dimes, leave the fives. If you're trying to get more great ones, what you're going to do is you're going to stack up those dimes to, call it maybe five if you can. Go ahead and make your batch shots and pick them all up at the same time. Now, ideally what that's going to do is that's going to manipulate the table into trying to average things out all at one time instead of doing a small average increment here and there. Now, this is because I believe the spawns work in the way of restarts, right? So if you go back to the main menu, come back, your spawns restart, and you'll end up with way more respawns than you would if you just stayed in the game for, I don't know, four hours. So what should start happening is when you try to average those numbers out across the board, they're going to push towards the higher end and leave hopefully the space in the middle and keep the outside fringes, the fives and the tens and the twos being fully populated because that is our goal is to bring our average size up while also bringing our trophy herd quality up with it. 